and that has a um, direct effect on your level of energy. If you listen to gangster, now they say that you are what you eat. You are what you eat. Well, I say you are what you listen to because what you listen to, you consume as well in your brain. What you look at visually, uh, it is consumed through your eyes into your brain, which will consequently, if it's enough of it, um, it will stuff your system. It will stuff, stuff your system with toxins that does what for you? You listen to gangster rap music all day, now don't get it wrong. I like gangster rap music, straight up. I like gangster rap music, but then you have some that is just way out there. Some you can't even understand. Okay, you can't even understand. And now they have this culture in this industry that is sending young people straight down the drain straight down the drain and makes them other than themselves because it puts them off of their original kinetic frequency. Even in relationships, that's right. You may have, <clears throat> you may have a mate and one of you all, it doesn't matter if it's her or you. And I really hope that it's just a her and uh, you mean male and female, but however you roll, that's on you, okay? But the point I want to make is this, is that you can be having a great day. You can be having a great day all by yourself. And all of a sudden, wham! Uh, your mate comes in, had a bad day at work, had, some, had enough time on his or her hands to uh, let the devil fuck with them. And when I say devil, I'm talking about the lower self, the lower thinking, the lower thinking, the lower thinking process. You know, when you have too much time on your hands and you don't know what to do with it, uh, all type of shit can happen. And they can come and actually fuck up your whole day with their madness, with their madness. I'm just saying. Now, sometimes, they may have a reason to do that. And sometimes they may not. But I will tell you this, if you are just a normal, harmonious person that is in order with the frequency in which you're created in, nine times out of 10, you always have some form of negative energy that you encounter that you will either have to smack away, disregard, and some of you just don't even deal with, especially when you're a person like me. Bad energy, stay the fuck away. I'm just saying. We stick up bad energy around here. I mean, we put it, put it down, way down, stick them up for all they cash. Real talk. So all of that negative energy, detox yourself from it. Detox yourself from gangster rap music that speaks about motherfuckers and killing you all day. Detox yourself from that. There's a lot of different other music that you can listen to. Just try it for a day and see how it affects you for a day. And then go to the next day. And then go to the next day. And then go to the next day. And see how you feel as a person not intoxicating your spirit with all of that bullshit. And once you detox yourself from that, you will be able to receive power, power, power from your frequency. And what exactly is power? Power is the ability. Power is the ability to define phenomena and make it act to a desired manner. Once again, power is the ability to define a phenomena and make it act to a desired manner. QEP Newton, Black Panther. Power. And you have the power, I have the power, and we have the power to remove negative energy from our atmosphere. 
from our thinking, from our lives. We have that power. We have that power to do that. So why don't we do it? Because we lack the want or need to do it. We've become comfortable with negative energy. We surround ourselves with people of negative energy. Think of it, think about it. Even if you're at work now, if you're at work, you gotta work with good people and you gotta work with bad people. I mean, that's just how it is in this world that we live in. You can't have positive without a negative. Even all the way down to the smallest portion of an atom, which is called a quark, you still have positive and negative, yin and yang. But in the process of you having this positive and negative, lower higher, higher self and lower self. But the point of the matter is, which one do you allow to rule? Which one do you allow to speak out for you as an individual? Which one do you allow to exhibit itself to others? Which do you choose? Some people just like drama. I'm not a person that likes drama. You know, I had an ex that likes drama all the time, consistently, all day, all day, and I couldn't deal with the drama. I'm a peaceful person. I'm a peaceful person. And there's nothing wrong with being peaceful because that's being in harmony with the universe. But we intox ourselves with hardcore drugs. That's right. We intoxicate ourselves with too much alcohol. We intox ourselves with too many X pills and methadone and heroin and China white. Yeah, we kill ourselves the way we live. We kill ourselves the way we live and the way that we live is a direct reflection of the energy that we allow to be in our lives. Think about that. You can't be a positive person and hang with a negative person. You, you can't do it. it. It just doesn't work that way. It doesn't. I understand that opposites attract, but when it comes down to being a harmonious person, it, it doesn't work. Now, when you are on a frequency, and normal frequencies that we listen to on a daily basis are anywhere on the sound frequency of 20 to 6,000 hertz. H-E-R-T-Z. Hertz. And when you find it in the parentheses, it's just H C. Hertz. Now, normally, that's what we operate on. That's the frequency, which is 20 to 6,000. Those are important normal words on a daily basis.